All right, so have I found the best ultralight sleeping pad? Uh, I'm obviously going to be reviewing this Keyless Gear AeroCloud ultralight sleeping pad, um, but I'll also be making a sort of a bit of a comparison against some of the other key competitors on the market. And I've got a really, really good statistics, I suppose, comparison table, uh, which you'll be able to look at and see the different weights, pack size, uh, R values, etc., etc., and obviously price. Okay, so full disclosure here, Keyless Gear did send me this pad, but they've no input into the actual review. Uh, a little bit of history about that. Uh, I've used one of their previous pads, the AeroCloud Elite. I was really impressed with it. In fact, I was super impressed with it. So actually, if they would send me the ultralight versions, and that's kind of how we got to here. Um, but they have no input in the actual review. And at the end of the day, you know, I'll give it, I'll try to be as honest and fair as I possibly can. Okay, so I'm now just going to look at the ease of inflation and this is the pump sack that comes uh, with the pad. <sighs> now the actual fit here of, of this into the valve is actually a really good solid fit. And then this is like a, a double valve. So I mean, this is already, I mean, there's no air leaking out of this, but whenever you actually press in the extra little bit at the top here, you know, this double valve is pretty much leak proof and that just all, all fits in there really, really pretty well. So while I honestly, personally will use a battery operated uh, pump, uh, using the pump sack there uh, works very, very well. Uh, and compared to what I've used from Thermares, Nemo and Big Agnes, uh, this is honestly the, the, the best system that I've found yet. It just works out a little bit better. So I want to talk about build quality. It's really just my experience uh, with these pads. So this would be the third pad that I've had from Keyless Gear. Uh, obviously the other one here too. Now, um, I've had both of these pads inflated for over a week, sort of in my bedroom. I think I mentioned earlier, I go down for sleep in the, in the afternoons. Um, and none of them have leaked, you know, any air. And the previous pad that I had from Keyless Gear, or that I still have actually, and, and is my go-to pad for a colder camping, it hasn't leaked any air uh, either. And, you know, the valve here, uh, you know, it, it all fits pretty well. You know, the, the connections seem, well, seem really, really good. And there's a consistent overlap, you know, of the of the welding. Um, so build quality wise, you know, I, I think these are you know are pretty good. And also even the likes of you know the stuff sacks, you know the stitching and everything on the stuff sacks all seems really really really, really good. So this version here is the 25 by 72. Excuse this tonight, uh, I'm battling against the wind a little bit. So we'll get the other one up now and I'll let you sort of see the, the, the difference. And it's, um, it's 26 by 79, so a tiny bit wider and obviously a little bit longer. So we'll see the real world difference uh, in, in a moment. So I've just lined the two pads up as evenly kind of as, as I can here. Um, and there's no doubt this just gives you, you know, that, that bit of, of, of total contact or, or total isolation from the ground. And that's just obviously the, the shorter. Uh, I kind of like my ankles just where they are at the moment. Uh, it kind of just supports them in the back of the ankles, but it still keeps my feet off the, off the, uh, off the tent floor. So I find this plenty long enough. It's just a personal preference thing. Okay, so now I'm actually, I've prepared a little bit of table. So I've done a bit of research for you so that you don't have to. So a lot of information is in the one place. It doesn't cover every pad out there in the market, but it does cover what I think are the main competitors. Um, and also all of these pads, apart from the XBED 3R, I have significant experience, and that Ultra 3R with all of the brands. And I've actually owned many, many pads from Thermarest, Big Agnes, and actually Nemo. But to begin with, if we look at the price, the bottom line is this pad here is pretty much half the price of any of the others. Okay. Um, and you know what? If you think reliability might be an issue, you know, I've had both of these now. I haven't had them for a long period of time. I have used the other ones, but I've had problems with all, all of the other major brands. I had a wee issue with my Nemo and my Thermarest and actually my, one of my big Agnes's. So uh, I don't think the brand issue makes any difference to the actual reliability. 
So price wise, this is insanely good value. Weight, uh, sorry, what I'll do now is I've, I've blacked out some of these, so I'll now sort of bring up the next category so that you can sort of see it. Weight at 500 grams. I actually weighed one of these mats and it was a, a bit lighter than it should be and I weighed the other one and it was a fraction heavier than it should be. So there may be a tiny amount of individual variation. But weight, it's right on the money. It's really, really competitive. R value, again, you know, again, the, the, the NXT Thermarest, you know, has a higher R value, but it's arguably a four season pad. Uh, and you could maybe, you know, Big Agnes claim there's only a three season pad, but it has an R value similar to the X Lite. So I think on a three season pad, the R value of this here and the warmth levels of this will be competitive. Now, thickness, uh, I'm going to come in and look at the comfort thing in the morning, but at the end of the day, you know, within reason, the thicker the pad is, you know, particularly if you're a side sleeper, the more that lets your hips, you know, sink down into the pad. And then we kind of have pack size. And in reality, pack size, um, you know, I've just kind of compared it against the Nalgene bottle, you know, earlier on, or you can see that now again. Uh, some of them, you know, are just sort of, longer or, or longer and wider and others are shorter and fatter uh, but the pack size is certainly uh, very competitive as well as well so that's really it for now uh, i'll be sleeping on the pad later tonight and then in the morning we'll look at comfort and my final thoughts So two key aspects then regarding comfort are the baffling system and the thickness of the pad. So we'll start first of all with thickness of the pad. 10 centimeters thick, that's pretty much the thickest that's on the market for this type of pad and certainly in the ultralight pads. Uh, it just means that when you lie on your side, you know, your hips can really sink into it. So when you're lying on the pad, you know, it really is very, very comfortable. I actually sleep in all ways. I sleep on my back, I sleep on my right side, my left side, and I sleep on my front. And I sleep straight, straight out and sleep curled up. I just constantly shuffle around. You know, I, I just had a great night's sleep and I sort of feel almost you shouldn't be this comfortable when you're actually lying in, in, in a tent. Okay, so just before I sort of go through my final thoughts on, on the pads, this is just some of the Keyless Gear pillow that I've been using. It's not the lightest and it's not the most compressible pillow, but it's definitely the most comfortable pillow that I've ever used. Um, it's kind of like, it's obviously got baffles in it and I just find it really, really supportive. And it's got a little bit of sort of a quilted texture uh, to it as well. And that just means it's, it's, it's not bouncy at all. It's really, it's actually quite, quite firm and it's a great size. You've got a pad strap on it. Um, and a valve that's very, very easy to sort of inflate and deflate. And then this cover actually just pops off it, or it pops out, you know, so it's, it's a washable sort of setup. And that's just the, the pillow itself. And I'll show you it in a moment, and then this is just a stuff stack that it goes into. So I, I would definitely recommend it, uh, and I've been using it on quite a lot of my camps. Okay, so now to my final thoughts on this Keyless Gear uh, AeroCloud Ultralight. Big ones out of the way first, comfort and value. Comfort of this pad, I've already discussed it. It's pretty much, as far as I'm aware of all ultralight type pads, it's the best on the market because of this quilted design, or sorry, this baffle design and the actual pad thickness. It's pretty much half the price of the, of the big established brands. So it represents tremendous, tremendous value. And all the other facts and figures are competitive. So the weight, you know, this one here, the shorter one's 500 grams. The larger one is around 590 grams. Um, you know, the size, I mean, they're sta they've standardized it. So this is your 25 by 72. The other one is 26 by 79, I think. Pack size is competitive, R value, I think, you know, 3.8 competitive. But those two big standout features, you know, the price of the pad and the actual comfort, you know, just make it a clear, a clear winner. 
and I really don't know a pad on the market. If you're looking for a three season pad, certainly for all the pads that I've come across, I honestly don't know a pad that comes anywhere close to, the, to, to beating this one.